Hello guys and girls, Voices from the Dark here, welcome back to the savior of Skyrim, with my mere many lives, Raya, the amazing companion who's currently hiding her face, she's a little shy today, and Barbus the dog. Barbus, say wolf if you're a good boy. <gasps> Look at that, he finally respects me enough to talk to me. That's good, few people do that. We are at the Serethi farm. In the previous episode, we cleared out Trevor's watch for someone who says he owns it. I don't really know if he does. And now we've come up, we've talked about Sindari, and his legacy continues as they are planting Crimson Nurn roots. Now, today, we're gonna go up against some big dangers. We're gonna head back south. I know there is a ruin here with a quest in it that I would like to check out. But before we do anything of that nature, I'm gonna go back into Serethi farm. I know we were just here raiding, but I'm just gonna make a deposit, okay? I'm gonna jump into their dresser, because dressers are generally safe storage. And I'm gonna put away some stuff, because we're gonna be going on the road. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna take everything that you have, yes, my thane. and we're essentially going to course, travel light. So let me just take everything here. Okay, I took everything from her and we're back to the good old setup with Thalmor robes, a Warhammer, and Staff of the Flame Atronach. Just on, returning to her roots and then stashing away everything we do not need. And with that, we are stashing away quite a lot of things here, but good news is we can move once more. Barbus, we really gotta make you some sort of Harness. I'm like, put a big bag on your bag. Bag on your bag, yes, put a bag on your bag. Or a back on your bag, for that matter. But a bag on your back would be ideal. Just so you can, you know, pull your part of the load here, okay? Is this the poop bucket? I'm gonna go now. We do have a couple of things in my inventory that I haven't actually checked out. We did get a pamphlet from the museum in Dawnstar. And I never read it. I just assumed it meant I was going to Dawnstar, but let's read it. Silas. Vesuius presents the Museum of the Mythic Dawn, a history of the cult that toppled the Septim dynasty. Inside of his very own home, in the great capital of the Pale, Dawnstar, free and open to all citizens of Skyrim. Well, we gotta make sure we check out that. Also, the Nornroot Missive, which is by Sindarian, but... We'll, we'll do a proper reading bonanza eventually, but good to know that Cinderian's getting out there. We got another thing in the episode that I didn't really pay attention to at the time, but it's really, really cool what we got. Since we gathered all of those Crimson Nernroot, we essentially fulfilled Cinderian's wish and his spirit watches over us. If we go to magic and we check the active effects tab, we can see that we have something called Cinderian Serendipity, which is a mouthful. But it says there's a 25% chance of creating a duplicate potion when using your alchemy skill. So that's just really cool. Getting that as early as possible, I think, has been a, a stroke of genius on my end, which was totally planned from the very beginning. That's just neat. Look, come on. There's so many ways into Travis Watch. Like, why do you care about the gate? You can literally walk inside. All right. Well, I hope they're enjoying it. Making themselves at home, because I worked real hard. If we take a look in the distance, there's something coming up. I mean, on the other side of that giant mountain, where we did that little reminiscing two episodes ago. But now, there's the three episodes ago. It's, it's been a while. Yoink. No one was mine. I'm all about these dungeons that have, like, self-contained quests in them. Just feels so satisfying knowing that we've been there, we've done that, we don't need to do it again. Some of these dungeons, if we're unlucky, we're gonna be facing several times as quests keep bringing us back, but... Of course, on subsequent clears of a dungeon, I can decide to just run past things if I'm just getting a, an item, but... For the first time around, you gotta do it right. So, we also gotta remember that we have a level up. I'm just saying it to remind myself. And this being a Nordic ruin, we can guess at who awaits us inside. A bear. That's, that's not what I was expect- Where are you? No, 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 no. 
I usually am all about bears just getting out of my hair. Oh, stop saying words like that. It's not fair to have a bear that runs and gets out of your hair. I still struggle with those words, especially... Weep! I've noticed especially the word fear is hard for me because I want to say fair. Even though that's not the... the, the they're d distinctly different, but I was reading The Wise Man's Fear the other day, and it caused a whole commotion on the Discord, because people were asking what I was reading, and I was cheeky, and I was like, Oh, well, it rhymes with the nice granny's pear. And the wise man's pear, but pear... You see, I can't, I, I can't differentiate these sounds. It is legitimately difficult for me, so... Now you know, the struggles of being me. Oh, woe is me indeed. A Dance in Fire, Volume 7, and a journal. Alright, things are about to get spicy. You don't leave a journal outside of a dungeon unless something went really wrong. So it just goes to show that you shouldn't be leaving journals outside yes, of dungeons. Yes, what is now, it? she does have the Sanctified yes, Steel thing? Warhammer. Considering we're gonna be facing the undead. We'll see if that's good or not. Alright, she has that. Let's read the Journal of Madrasi! On Angarvunda. Whispers of this ancient temple have been few and far between, and most real knowledge seems similar to Angarvunda itself, buried and forgotten. Yet, every story or legend I hear all seem to speak of immeasurable riches found deep within. Great treasure waits for the worthy adventurer, said one old fool after many false flirtations and tankards of mead. Though he may have been a nuisance, his information matches most of my research, specifically the location of Angarvunda. Tomorrow I will hire a mining team to assist me in my excavation and head towards the ruin. By this time next month, I shall be rich. MD. Alright, Madressi, let's see. Let's see how that went. Something tells me I have to come in and clean up a mess. I usually do. Into Angarvunde. Which is uh, Old Nordic for come inside. I hear her. Hear her? Oh, stop. I hate I hate English. Riches and fortune within my grasp. And I have to give it all up because they're afraid of a few dead bodies. Hello? Oh, I didn't see you there. You seem troubled. Of course I'm troubled. I'm on the verge of incredible wealth. But my cowardly workforce ran at the first sign of danger. What scared them off? We were excavating this old tomb when we opened a chamber full of corpses. The team took one look, turned tail, and ran. Haven't they seen dead bodies before? Well, probably not like these. The ones in there are all still walking around. In any case, if I can't get past the creatures in that room, I can't recover the treasure. I need more manpower. Manpower, I can get you. Huh. Say, that's not a bad idea. You look like you could handle yourself against these beasts. I'll tell you what. You help me get the treasure, and I'll split it with you. Deal? All right. Excellent. With my brains and your brawn, that treasure will soon be mine. Uh, ours. Yeah. First, I need you to clear the main chamber of those monstrosities. I'll stay here until you're finished, planning our next move. Alright, I'll show you. I've faced Draugr before. This ain't my first Draugrodeo. Alright, let's see if there's anything good. Uh, there usually is some loot just lying around, waiting to be picked up. Oof, says Barbus. Alright, I'm gonna fleshify myself. Which sounds gross, now that I say it out loud. And we're gonna go say hello to the boys! Oh, Draugr White. Okay. Just like Bandit Highwaymen, Draugr Whites might be able to have enough damage output to be actually scary. Oh, and there's another... They got a mage, too. Okay. Raya does have the Staff of the Flame... She can summon a Frost Atronach! Well, it's gonna be Battle of the Giants here. And they are too powerful for a Sanctified Steel Warhammer. Well, it should probably still work on the other types of Draugr there is. Okay. I'm gonna reapply this right here and just think for a minute. Draugr Scourge! 
that's going to be a little nasty. What could we do here to make things better? I think these guys are going to be too powerful for anything I try to toss at them. Probably also the whites. All right. But we're just going to have to wear them down one by one. This one has already fallen. And I'll resummon that. Oh, they're right. That's, that's not mine. So she has used the staff. And white is down because of flamey. All right. One more Draugr. Come on. Great treasure awaits. Just got to kill a couple of Draugr. Easy money, I say. Just bash them a little. In the back of the head. Come on, this is great training. Yeah. Wonderful form. The finesse. He's right now fighting me. Two flame atronogs, a dog, and an angry red guard. How's your day? Hopefully better than this guy, because this is not not good. Look at, look at those swings. Look at look at the grace. Let's see. All right, I still have veggie soup. That's I think. No, I don't have veggie soup. And finish him. Ah. Excellent. I'll wait with the vegetable soup until I know there's danger. Ancient Nord War Axe. How dull. Bone meal. Keep picking up ingredients, because it feels wrong not to, you know? And... What is here? Is there any treasure I can get before she comes? Alright. We got a spike gate. Stuff on the other side of spike gates. Secret doors. There's definitely more to this place. Alright, let's go get... The lady. Madressi, was that your name? Madessi, Madressi. Have you killed them all yet? They're all dead. Then we've no time to lose. Follow me. Don't fall behind. Technically, I could have just left them alive, up and walking, and she walks in the chamber like, You told me they were dead! And I'm like, they are. Because they're corpses. That would have been funny. And then she would have been dead. That would have kind of sucked. Because she's a quest person. Are you coming? You said try to keep up, and then you're slower than a snail on a hot summer day. What does that mean? I don't know. I heard someone say it once, and I didn't question them. Alright, Madrasi. And... Gates. Of course there's gates. Foul beasts. Hmm. These doors seem to be the only thing left between me and the treasure. Oh, uh, sorry, I got a little bold there. <laughs> Who is... was that Barbus? Bar Barbus, are you trying to set me up with this lady? Listen, I'm not... <sighs> is there some way to open them? There'd better be. I didn't come all this way to leave empty-handed. There must be a way to activate these doors deeper in the ruins. Here, take this key. It should open the doors on either side of the chamber. Ah, Angarvunda key. Most excellent, I say. All right, two gates, two sides of the chamber. Barbus is already barking. He's excited to go on this little adventure, so... There's more to clear. Let's start by going into the Ungar Vunda ruins. And let's be on the lookout for traps. My eyes are peeled, and I shan't fall. Ha! For your... Another one, see? You would have stepped on... Oh, shit! I tried to jump, but it didn't jump. That's not my fault. Oh! Oh, it's just a Draugr. What do I fear Draugr boys? Come on, he's, he's naked. He is the lowest form of... Thank you. Okay. Now, where were we? Okay, another gate. Fine. Before the ages of man. I believe we might have this book. Yes, my but I don't yes, want to leave it down it? here in the ruin, just... Yes, my thing? Rotting in the damp. Will do. Okay, there's lots of different tools here. I know I'm missing one form of embalming tool. I think it might be the pokey part that, you know, you pull up in the... behind the brain, you know, through the nose and, like, wiggle around. I would really like it if you read me this book, Raya. But this seems to be a difficult thing. Will, do. Will you, though? 
What if I ask you to take that? We'll do. Can you do that? You can do that. Well, that's excellent. We'll do. There we go. Thank you. Okay. We can go through here, and that's also closed, so there's probably more secrets, and there's a door right here. Which opens to an empty urn and a potion of minor magicka. Alright. I should know better than to get my hopes up. Uh, we have a lad over here. He is a Draugr White, though, so... Might want to Mistfire Bless me. Let's just be careful here. Swing away, Mimir! Swing away, you beautiful man. Now is the time for some vegetable soup. And with that... Baba! You can see my strikes. Just the grace. The form. The finesse. Mimir's been practicing. Yep. Ah. Don't ask how. And I hit the dog. That's fine. Honed Ancient Nord Battle Axe. I don't think I'm going to collect varieties like Honed and Supple. I'm just going to get the base version. Because it's almost like an enchant... It, 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 it's almost like an enchantment if you get me. You know, it's just a, a prefix. Kudush. Kudush. Alright, let's let's be a little careful here, because we can still die. I forget that sometimes, but Mistfire bless me and bless you on this wonderful day you are watching. Let's bait him down. We're gonna go to the weapon. And we're just gonna use, you know, Frost, the most powerful enchantment to use on a Draugr. Nice. Okay. It just drains some stamina. If that truly helps, I do not know. Supple Ancient Nordbow. No. Do not like the word supple. I just feel like it's followed by like a, a supple bosom. Or like, it's like, it's, it's a word that's... I don't know. I can't explain it. I have an aversion to the word supple. And it's... Hmm. Okay. Hello, my good sir. Were you coming this way? I'm gonna go the opposite way then. That's how we're gonna make that work. All right, alteration increase. That's Mistfire blessed me. One of the nice things about using Oak Flesh a bit more actively. It would be really cool to just get our spells. Like I want to max as much as possible just naturally. I right, I won't be able to like in Oblivion there were some skills that were just ludicrous, such as athletics. Like even after walking across the entire map several times, clearing every dungeon. We weren't near maxing athletics, which is just insane. Stuff like speechcraft, draw their warriors and gold. But we won't really worry about leveling just yet. We have hundreds of levels to go. And here we go. We get goodies. And another part of the path is open to us. Whoa! Studded Imperial Armor. No, I'm enough of a stud already. Don't need that. There we go. It's always one with the treasurer. Mistfire, bless me. Now we should have a smooth ride, right? No more bads. Step on it! Gadoosh! Oh, come on. That totally would have hit me, but because it's him. Alright. Well, try it. Yes, push him back! <gasps> What was that? Alright, oh, flame is behind us too. Oh, I try to make it work. Didn't quite. It's nothing like the, uh... The epic goblin trap I did. In like episode 2... Or was it episode 1? I don't remember. The Champion of Serial Challenge. Watch the replay. I think we're gonna pull him back. Yeah, we're gonna pull him back a little bit. And then I'm gonna push this thing up. And drop it. Oh! <laughs> it worked! <laughs> oh, I almost smashed my glasses. Oh, stop. Don't watch the replay. People are coming. Fun fact about that scene. That's one of the first instances of me wearing glasses. So I'm still getting accustomed to them. And you might see in that clip, I smack my face. Because I'm not used to having glasses. And that actually hurts. 
So let's just fun, fun, fun fact with Dark. Uh, we're not very afraid of them. What I'm interested in though is dragons. Oh wow. I mean, you. We are doing quite well difficulty wise right now. And I mean, stealing. Skyrim combat is not exactly deep. I know. Shocking. Alright, let's get in here. So, at a certain point, especially when we're not doing anything particular in combat, whoosh, there's not a lot of depth. It's mostly, okay, the enemies have a lot of health, so we need to smack them quite a- don't, 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 don't do that. They can also deal damage, should they feel like it. Excellent. Alright, I'll leave it to her while I go searching. Version, gold, orcish. Scaled horn armor, I am certain that is new. I'll try to give it to Raya and see what she thinks of it. She might actually look kind of cool in it. Chantra's draw, some potions of healing. And then we just come back into the picture. Smacking you around like I never left. I might wait with enchanting this mace any further. I like a fire enchantment. That Where was this savage? All right, then they're already moving on to the next the next thing. All right, Garnet, Lesser Soldier, Potion of Healer. I would like the option to level. I mean, I can level up, but I'd like a reason to level up. You know, using the boost in a good way, just so I don't get multiple levels in one. That doesn't feel good. It's like I'd slept for two days and like missed a day. It's like no. Oh. I missed my turd ass. What day is it? I cannot. Yeah, I cannot wait. Fre it's a Fred ass, man. Sure, doesn't feel like a Fred ass down here. Let's ignore the Frost Atronach and rather deal with the guy who summoned him. Do I just knock him off? Sure. We'll just knock him out of here. I'll leave Raya to, to deal with the scourge. She'll do it in due time. Potion of plentiful healing, coin purse, potion of minor stamina. Elven helmet. Nice. Just like on the Thalmor I slay. Very learn. Come on, let's see you put up a fight. Ugh, all right, maybe we should go back down. All right, I'll go back down to the man. Oh boy. There's a giant frost atronach here too. Oh. We should we should not be focusing on the all right. I just needed a little, a little break. Now we're good. Miss Fire, bless me. Badoosh. All right. Smack this boy around. Yes, he's a boy. Even though he's balding and his corpse gray, still a boy. I wonder if we're gonna face something more troubling from the Draugrs here. We haven't really met a lot of them who can shout and the like, so... There's some opportunities here. Alright, we'll just keep bashing away. This is something we would not be able to do in the Champion of Serial Challenge. I remember early on, or basically late game too, melee damage is just not viable. Like, you don't do enough damage, even if you play as a warrior. I mean, we played as a battle mage, so we weren't really a warrior. It's just not viable. The enemies are so strong, they only take one-sixth of damage and deal 600% damage back to you. It's insane. So all manner of weapons just didn't cut it. Like, we had to focus on weakening them with spells and then using a specially enchanted weapon to deal the finishing blow. Or rely on our companions. That's still a strong, a strong play. Even though there I could only have one companion, and here I have like four. So it's kind of wild. I also remember when we were meeting goblins early on. The goblins who came at us with weaponry were much less scary than the goblins who came at us with fists. Somehow the physical damage they dealt just freaking pummeled me out of this world. It's why mud crabs would kill you in two hits on legendary when you exit the sewers. Because it's physical damage. But a goblin with an iron dagger 
That would be the ideal candidate to train light armor and heavy armor. And man, I'm nostalgic for the champion of Cyrodiil. Man, I mean, it was several years of my life poured into it, so it's only right that I am, you know? Dwarven Battle Axe. Ruby, 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 Ruby. And some golds. But who knows? Maybe in five years' time, I'll be looking back and I'll be saying, when we're playing the Elder Scrolls 6. Yeah, right. Oh, I remember Mimir down in the crypt in Angarvunda. Oh, jibo, 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 because that's how I talk. Only time will tell. Potions. My favorite. Gold and a potion of plentiful healing. Wolf says Barbus. Right. We are now back in the main chamber with our girl, who's eagerly waiting for us to open the gate. Gold steel arrow. And we're gonna open one of them at least. All right, that leads, leaves one more for us to do. All right, we can go up here into the catacombs, which are very different from the ruins, I tell you that. Whoosh, says Barbus. The urn is empty. Just like my soul. There's a pit. You go first, see if it's safe. Alright, she says it's fine. Yeah. Draugr boy, you know what? No. I'm gonna face you on my own. I don't need friends. All I need is the power of imagination. And I imagine you dead before me, and it just so happens to be how it all came to pass. Nice. Alright. Let's speed through this part of the dungeon, okay? We've seen a Nordic ruin. So, whoa! Barbus! I have no idea how Barbus does what he does, but... Keep it up, Barbus. Proud of you. What's this chest? Oh! Trap! Huh. Masterfully dodged. Ta! Alright, there's a frost bolt coming from around the corner. Let's, let's deal with this lad first. A little schmack, a little schmack. Look at the staggers here, like they're just MVP. They're wonderful. Alright, let's get him down first. Look at this little boy here, come on. Push you over into the fiery AoE effect, come on. Knock him down. This feels good though, even if Skyrim's combat is simple. I mean, we just gotta... It's, it's the hand we've been dealt. It doesn't feel right using mods and the like to, to change it. It would be too much of a drastic... Drastic change and... You know, our playstyle is going to change over time when we get... Shouts, you know? We're probably gonna have new ways of fighting and I love... Switching others, Raya. I love switching up how we fight. Like Marina Mistfire had several periods of fighting. And now we're kind of in a... Bash them with the mace... Face. And that mace face won't last forever, but it's good. It's like a nice mace to the face face. Alright. Nothing of interest. Just the dying song of the Draugr White. And he is going to slowly perish now. And there he is. Excellent. Take the arrows. Go, 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 go. He looks like he's cool. He looks like he's hella chillin'. But hella chillin', is that a thing? That's a that's a thing now, I've decided. Truth is, though, and I don't trust you very much. There we get restless stronger. Should have known. Ow. Even he's not doing that much damage. This is legendary. I guess it has to do with us just pumping health, so I think we, we, we're we safe to pump some Magicka next level. <sighs> I'm still... <sighs> the dragons are going to be unleashed, Miss Red Bless Me, and I'm just going to regret everything that I'm saying right now. That's fine, I need a moment of feeling powerful, okay? My self is... Uh, there's a lot of Draugr here, okay. Well, I don't even have Battle Cry because we used it on a singular bandit in the other episode. I'm just going to get some distance and hopefully not a... That's a Draugr Scorch! And he can shout! 
Dr. Roda! Roda, your own butt, Barbus! Get out of my way! Alright, there's a chest here. I'll open that. That'll calm my nerves. There's nothing quite as soothing as the lockpicking freaking minigame. Gold? Okay, arrow, potion, stamina. Nice. Mr. Fire, bless me. Alright. Oak fresh pop. Fresh? Oak fresh. Ooh. Dude, that sounds like a fragrance I would want on me. I'm just gonna pop some oak fresh. Ah, smell of pine in the morning. All right, let's 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 focus on the Draugr boy here. He can uh, shout things. I mean, I can too. I just I, I try to keep an inside voice. Don't want to alert anybody. Wake the deads. This poor fool. Raya summoned a flame astronaut in close quarters. Which hello, who are you? Are you somebody I can kill? He's a restless Draugr. I can take him. I can actually deal some damage to that to that lad. First though, I'm just going to. Uh, Take a bit of a breather. Wonderful. With that, I'm going to summon Flamey right there. And just start beating him up. My companions are really strong. I feel like with Sven, I was constantly like, oh, Sven's knocked down, Sven's doing this. Now though. Gadoosh. Okay. Raya. Is that your own flame atronach? That's not mine. Why are you... Oh, it's hostile now. Oh, <laughs> good job, Raya. <sighs> I was gonna say, I want to try and give her the scaled horn armor and just see what it's like. There we go, yeah. Doesn't feel so good. Fight it. I should have seen that one coming. Yes, my Thane. So... Of course, Thane. How can I be of service? You... I'm gonna take some of these from you. I want to give you something. Scaled horn armor. What you think of it? You don't want to wear the scaled horn armor, but you want to wear the Thalmor robes? Do you want to wear the Savior's hides? She probably doesn't. All right, I'm, not, I'm not trusting you with any of this. All right. Back then there. Back, back then there? Sure. Back then there. Let's search this chest, grab nine gold pieces, and be on our way. I tell my mind and speech is faltering as I'm just staring at these walls. I can't, I can't, I can't be losing it this early in the challenge. Oh, that's probably a bad sign. I'll walk past. It was a bad sign. Okay, I'll walk back past. Ha! Oh, the trap didn't do anything. Okay, there we go. We still have plenty of dungeons to clear, so. Oh boy. I remember Oblivion had an obscene amount of dungeons. Like, just unnecessarily a lot of them. And and a lot... Not a lot. There were dungeons in the game that were uninspired. I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to be so, so bold to say it. Especially now that I'm finishing up the DLC. In the Shivering Isles, there are some dungeons that just go on. So there's a bit more variety here. So I just gotta... I just gotta appreciate it, really. And I'm really looking forward to having some fun with shouts and the like, and getting access to more spells, more magicka. I'm gonna be able to do even crazier things. <sighs> and he's dead. Rest in pieces. Alright. And they're all waiting for me. Of course they are. Why wouldn't they be? Rai, you here? Alright. Gonna need another... Patronach from both of us. Oh, Rhoda! Alright, Archer Boy is the Scourge, man. Was that the... No, this is... Yeah, no, it's the guy in the back. Okay. We are going to need... Oh boy, we're gonna need some veggie soup. We're gonna need some veggie soup. Alright, I'm just gonna take a few blows here. Just so that I can use my level up. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! Nice. I'm pumping Magicka. Boom. Done. Okay. What do we want? Our one-handed's been flying up. That's really cool. What's the next thing here? That's the paralyzing strike. Let's have savage strike. One-handed weapons do a do more damage. Dual wielding. It's, it's it's not me. That's not me. That's not me. Or is it? We will see. Heavy armor, smithing, enchanting. Some of these things are going to be important eventually. Alteration. I'm 
Apprentice level alteration. That is going to come into play. Do I have any alteration spells right now that are of that school? I have a Detect Life is Adept. I don't actually, but I would actually like a new flesh spell. Sounds gross. Sorry I said that. Alteration dual cast. I'm going to do Apprentice Alteration and see if I can get myself the next type. Because we have Mage Armor here. Protections like Stone Flesh are twice as strong if not wearing armor. Okay, that's worth considering. Magic Resistance. That's just straight up great passive. Unless it's broken, unless it's like, no, it doesn't actually block 10%, it blocks 1% and only on full moons. Because knowing Skyrim's perks, that's probably how it was. Right, veggie suit, that's what we wanted. There we go. Now I can bash him around and that's a fiery explosion. And don't, 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 don't be mean. I'm trying to befriend you and the only way I know how is through violence. But, as a certain High Elf once told me back in Cyrodiil... Come on now, there's no need to get violent! Still remember those words. Alright, he's... Kilan us diluning us all. And Rodaing us. I'll give you a Roda. I'll give you a Rodai! Yeah! Alright, we're keeping him off balance. And... There we go, just, just bash him a little. I haven't really been doing what I was saying that I was going to be doing with the shield, you know, constantly bashing in order to bleed somebody to death. I thought it was going to be more useful, but we haven't really struggled that much since. But it might come in handy still. Being able to keep somebody off balance, but also damage them. It might be a dirty, but necessary tactic. Okay, here we are. Oh, I shouldn't have made some shh. These boys are sleeping. Oh boy! These boys- they're shout- They come in expecting me to be quiet in their hallowed halls. And he's there road-eyeing like it's nobody's business. Go! Ah. Alright. Where are you going? Right, you're restless. You're super restless because you were hit by the sanctified steel warhammer of my companion, Raya! Nice. That means I can just deal with- Ugh. Oh. Sometimes that forward power attack, it takes you places. Like, you weren't sure you were wanted, wanted to go, but then you arrive and you're like, oh, it's pretty cool. Whoa! Alright, Mr. Draugr Scourge, do you feel confident you're going to win this encounter? Because I, I don't, honestly. Alright, we pop that and keep smacking him around. Is this a burial urn? Flawless Garnet for our flawless victory. Ah. Let's see. Ugh. Trying to do a sprinting power attack there for that critical, but... It requires a bit more stamina than that. Even with Venshi Soup. Okay. Alright. Let's be very quiet. I want this. Hey, pal. You stay there. I'm just gonna take... Hold on, there's something under your knee there. Hold on. Hold on. Thank you. Dude, that guy's so chill. Man. Best Draugr so far, okay? Top 10 Draugr's in here. He's number one. But all good things must come to it. And, uh oh. Even though he was relatively peaceful, I don't want him preventing me from clearing the dungeon if he counts. Alright. Let's just knock him down. Light armor increase, that's pretty fun. That's pretty fun. And I picked up an ancient Nord greatsword. Can't have that. Man's got standards. Oh, it's a carpet mummy. My favorite. Now then. Another lad. Yeah, that's what I... Oh, go! Watch out, I might heal myself. What are you gonna do? Potion of stamina. That's a Draugr white. You deal with... Oh, hey! Draugr I can do. Alteration increase. What do you know? Whoa. 
That was pretty good. I hit the flame atronach there. Hopefully that's not gonna come back to scorch me. I think what happened the other time was that she was hit by just like that, hit by fireballs from her own. Elven war axe. Have I gotten a war axe? Sure, I'll do this too. Because I can. Fairy learns. Alright. Good on loot. Alright. Give me a path. Hut! Ah! Critical strike. Keeps trying to hurt my dog Barbus. I mean, we are eventually going to do Barbus's quest too, so we won't have him with us the entire rest of the game, but his quest is on the other side of the world. So even if I wanted to, there's no reasonable way for me to finish that just now. So he's, he's going to be our companion. All right. Pop that. Pop that. Grab the shield. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Why don't you just go back to being asleep, okay? You were doing so well. I'm proud of you. There we go. Silver necklace. Hold on, there's a corpse with eight golds. The amount of corpses we're gonna loot in this game, that's gonna turn into a fortune. <sighs> okay. Flame me here. Ah, I gotta level up. Alright, let's bring everybody for this final party here. Draugr White, huh? I've faced... <gasps> I, I talk big! But then I'm faced with an actual threat, and suddenly it's not fun anymore. <laughs> Alright. Luckily, Mom's vegetable soup makes me capable of blocking some serious blows. There we go. Wonderful. Flamey went out in a blaze of glory. Mistfire bless me, I said right behind the enemy's back, in amongst the enemy's ranks. Hey, look. When you, when you gotta pray, you gotta pray. Okay? There's no such thing as a bad place to pray. That's not true. Ah, we've prayed. Prayed in some perilous places. Pal. And bite him. Eat his face. Thank you. Whoop. Da. Excellent. Petty soldier. Such a good boy. Killing all of daddy's enemies. Ooh, there is there is some point to loot in these fools. They sometimes have interesting items. That one did not, though. Or maybe he did, and I already looted him. That would be a very unfair thing for me to say, then. I apologize to him. Another seven gold. Seven gold here. Eight gold here. Next thing you know, we're buying a house. That's how it goes. The Wraith's Wedding Dowry. Well, that probably didn't go too well. Rookish Dagger. Burned Book. Have I gotten a Burned Book? Potion of Minor Healing. Angerwunde. Here we go. Okay. Through the second path. This should open the gates. So we have the urn. We have the urn. We have treasure. Gold. <laughs> One singular gold piece. And a ruby, though. So that's, that's worth it. All right, gang. There we go. I did it. No, no, you don't. You, uh. Ah! Anger wound key removed, but I liked having the anger wound key. That brings me back. Who can forget this classic scene from the Champion of Cyrodiil? Follow me. All right, Fifth Regar. I'm with ya. Gotta stop these fools, these necromancers, you and me, until the end. Wait up. Did he just disintegrate? Just... Just one of the good ones. One of the good, real classic moments. Angerbundeki, I'll take back. Some potions she had with her. Excellent. What's in the chest? Broken steel sword handle and a coin purse. Cool. No treasure, though, but that's probably... Misfire, bless me. What this door is for. The dungeon isn't cleared yet, meaning there's one more challenge. Barbus standing sideways. Oh my god, his butt is so big. His butt has a collision box that just goes places, okay? Alright. 
I don't like this. I don't like this. Oh, it's a little draggy boy. Hey, draggy boy. Draugr overlords. That's fine. How tough can an overlord be? Let's dance. Oh boy, he's not really doing much damage. Oh well, you know. He's doing nothing. I can stand in your face. Using a less than optimal way of fighting. What's going on? Am I not on legendary? Man. Let's just double check. <laughs> we are. I guess we're just at, at one of those one of those stages where things go well. What's this? Uh, uh, uh. Hmm. I feel like I can communicate with animals. And that's quest complete! We got a shout. We got a glass war axe. Man, I wish you were a mace. It's pretty cool though, knowing we can get glass stuff now. Okay. Is that also Angarwunde cleared? Did we get the clear sounds? I guess that was kind of overridden by everything happening over by the stone. Where's Raya? Where's Raya? Where's Raya? Maybe she just stayed up. May oh, thank you. <sighs> Whenever I lose sight of my companion and they don't come to me, I'm expecting to find them lying dead somewhere. <sighs> but she wasn't. Alright, quest complete, dungeon complete, treasure gotten. Now we just need some dragon souls to start unlocking these shouts and... I definitely do want to stop by Whitra and I think that might be our stop after... Our little Riften, Riften adventures, which are so, so imminent. It would be nice to start with the Thief skill too, because that's, that's a quest line that's going to take a lot to 100%. Might as well get started. Okay. Man. Another Draugr ruin. That's going to be the last Draugr ruin for a little while. <laughs> My sanity needs a break from those. But, it's been a pleasure. As always. Come, Barbus, come on. I want to gather everybody for like a final shot. I can't do it if you're over there. Yes, good. Oh, there we go. That's... That's pretty good. And Barbus is hidden behind my shoulder. That's fine. Guys and girls, thank you so much for watching. I'm glad we made it through a Dungeon Rompy episode with our sanity still intact, but it's becoming clear that I want more ways to fight. So if you have some clever ideas, I know that I want to get more spells, I want to get more shouts, and eventually start enchanting things as well, and hopefully that'll add a little bit of extra spice, because right now Mimir's itching for a challenge. And who knows, maybe that challenge is very soon to arrive. Have a still good day, take care, and stay awesome. But most important, everybody, stay dark. Goodbye.